So here's the longtime Jackson Wake MMA staple, former UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion Holly Holm. DC, she's got the highlight of all highlights. She'll be looking to produce another one here tonight. That night she knocked out Ronda Rousey. It was absolutely insane because Ronda Rousey was still right. Super hot. Nobody thought she had a chance. Set up that beautiful head kick just because, as always, Holly Holm will follow a game plan to a team. One of the smartest fighters in the entire UFC uses her brain, her skill, and her footwork in order to set down her opponents. And then she strikes and strikes a beautiful fight. Holly Holm is a phenomenal fighter. And when her back has been up against the proverbial wall, she comes out and dominates someone like Megan Anderson, as she did back at UFC 225. Holly Holm, Jason Fogel. fight in UFC history back at UFC 157 went on to fame and fortune her legacy as well established as anyone in the game. I met Ronda Rousey back at the Olympics in 2008 as a young girl became a Olympic bronze medalist that was unheard of for someone to do that and she took that star power and that ability to grapple and apply it right to a mixed martial arts career where she not only captured the UFC title, but also defended it on a number of occasions with her patented arm bar. Every time Ronda fought, people tuned in, they loved it, it was always exciting. And some wondered if she would ever make this walk again. Well, here is Ronda Rousey back in this arena, and if her pre-fight talk is any indication, she's got a point to prove here tonight. Tale of the date for this women's bantamweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Presenting the challenger, Holly, the preacher's daughter, Paul. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. Rowdy Ronda Rousey! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Well, this is one of the best first round fighters in UFC history. The former UFC women's bantamweight champion, Ronda Rousey. Nine career wins by armbar. Eight of those have come in round number one. So you can expect Rousey to go to that patented takedown early. We'll see if she can get yet another dominant submission tonight. All right, so with immediacy, the jiu-jitsu fighter closes the distance and gets her to the clinch. This is exactly where the kickboxer did not want to be early in this fight. No, she wanted space. She wanted distance. She wanted, to, she wanted it to be clean. This clinch position is anything but clean. And right now, she is exactly where she needs to be. Immediately gets the underhook. Short uppercut here in the clinch by Holly Holm. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice elbow. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Oh, it's a right hand. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Fast pace here in the early going. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? Oh, 
yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the jab, too. Great defense. She blocked that punch. She gets to the single collar tie. Look for her now to drive uppercuts up the middle to do damage on our pole. Right back in the clinch. Look for the back hand to get very active. Perfect execution on that team. Oh, it lands another uppercut there. She's landed a few of those here tonight. That might have been the biggest of the bunch. That was the best one. Did you see her? Start to stagger back a little bit. She didn't see that one. Right. She expected right hand coming straight. So she slipped and ducked her head a little bit. Unfortunately, she ducked her head right into a beautiful uppercut. Well, she went to the straight left, unable to connect, though. Well, she felt like the uppercut was going to be there. It has absolutely been there. No reason to think she won't go back to it. No, she's going to go back to that position. She has to. She can go from the clinch. She can do it off of her combination. She just has a variety of ways of landing that punch. Man, does she throw the ball. Her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands and she lands very effectively. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, nice. Nice job by her there to block that shot. Nice body shot. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Huge knee lands to the clinch. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Takedown defense holds up. All right, now we get a little bit of separation. Right to the single collar. She was able to close the distance, and now she's in her position. Man, how good is her offensive wrestling? I'm not sure if she's putting on a show because the Olympian's calling her fight tonight, but every time, essentially, she has gone to the takedown, it's been... Yeah, she's done a fantastic job of entering into the takedown over and over again, getting her opponent to raise her hands with strikes, dropping down on the legs, getting great angles, and securing her finishes. It's really good to see a game plan that people set out in front of us get accomplished. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well, they don't let you wear headgear, but she don't need it tonight, right? Beautiful job, Defensive. She's doing a great job of blocking up top. Nothing of any substance has landed to this point. Oh, nice straight punch there by Holm. Let's go. 20 seconds to go in round one. Outstanding kick there by the Preacher's Daughter. Final seconds of round one. Nice combination on the feet, and now works it to a takedown. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, let's check out some of the action in that previous round, DC. She certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. All right, so that's the end of the round. Lot to like in there, DC, particularly when it comes to her offensive wrestling. Game. She's evolving, right? She's gotten better. She did not have this skill set before. Now you watch her and she looks like an Olympian. She looks like a girl that can wrestle at the highest level. She scored so many takedowns in that round. Her wrestling is up to very far. All right, so we'll see how it goes here in this next round. She was able to take her down a bunch of times in that previous round, and I'm not sure she's going to be able to stop it here. Well, no. Nothing tells you that it's going to be any different between round one and round two because it wasn't close. It's not like she was shooting, having to change the attacks, right. having to move on from one, two, three, four, five things. It was first shot, go to a takedown. Second shot, get a takedown. Third shot, get a takedown. It was over and over and over. That's a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go change.
chase for a down. You get another one off to finish the fight. Big knee to the body. And once again, look at him. Oh, Lands a nice one, too. There you go. There you go. Nicely done. Home gets back up. She got that single collar tie. All right, so we got a little bit of separation now, but watch out for the setup. You got to think she's going to shoot for another takedown. Here. She's going to shoot for another takedown, and it may not look pretty. It may be her taking a shot halfway across the octagon. As long as she gets into contact, she is comfortable because she wants to fight down the floor. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike landed. It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good at everything she's doing that now the activity is starting to pick up. If she could continue to fight in this way, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets finished. Three minutes to go. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. Now she's nice, starting to show serious signs of bruising. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Oh, nice body shot. Circling to her right. All right, so a storyline developing. You see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that same spot. The cut's nothing too big right now, but if she doesn't protect it, it'll get a lot worse. Holmes kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. These women came to play tonight. All offense. Let's go. Just out of range with that right hook. Well, Holmes knows his cut now, and she's starting to deal with some blood in that area. Two minutes now to go in round two. Whiffs on the right hand. Strong series of kicks by her there. It's almost like she throws her feet as if they're two more hands. I mean, that is crazy. You use every weapon available, and she is using her kick as her main weapon. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking, and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern from both fighters recognizing, wow. I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting worse with every strike now. And the blood is flying. Her confidence is growing. She will continue to try and target that cut until someone has to come in here, ringside position, and stop the fight. What a strike by her there. Out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike now. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing. Oh, she landed again. That is a high fight IQ to continue to attack that cut. That's bleeding everywhere now. Everywhere. You know, we love smart fighters. This should be smart. Oh, she's hurt. Seconds to go round two. Back and forth we go. Final seconds here of round two. Home going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Oh, she got inside and right to the single power tap. Good round. All right, that's the end of the round, and the fighter has a cut on her nose. So that is something that certainly bears watching moving forward. Cut man racing in there. He'll try to seal that cut. She doesn't seem too bothered by it, but certainly something we'll keep an eye on here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing to position. Once she got to a leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling.
You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, so as this round gets underway, let's see if the high-level action continues. Both women had their moments in that previous round. Now we'll see if there's more aggression, and we'll see if one fighter can really take control. So we told you we would monitor this storyline. The cut was opened up early in the fight, and it is getting wider by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. I mean, this is a beautiful choice by this young lady. She does a great job of getting after her opponent, making sure that if she gets you hurt, she can get out of I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Oh, look at that. What an absolute war on a napkin in the center of the octagon. These women continue Really, both of them have landed a war on They both have landed. Neither has shown the best defense, but it makes for a real fun fight. They're battered, they're bruised, they're cut, they're beat up. But we are looking at one of the best fights we have seen in a long time. Ooh, she's got it tight. She gets out. She is so aware on the ground, and she escapes a deep submission attempt. Beautiful transition. Well, no surprise here. She backs off and welcomes her opponent back to the feet. Oh, damaging knee to the head. Vision is compromised, there's no doubt. Nice block. Punch went nowhere. What a phenomenal fight. These two are so evenly matched. They're going back and forth. She's got the single power time. Huge shot here right over the top. Her opponent in a world of trouble now. Her opponent in a world of trouble. She landed that punch in the exact spot that she needed to. Well, Rousey's cut has really opened up now, folks. I don't necessarily have to tell you that watching at home. Looks like you could stick a quarter in there. And I'm not sure how much longer this fight is going to continue. Great kick to the body by her there. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. Immediately gets the underhook. Well, pretty good recovery by her opponent after being stunned. But we see this all the time, right? If you don't close the deal when you have that opportunity, your opponent's back in the fight and can potentially run. Especially with this opponent. This opponent's so dangerous all the time. It does not matter that she hurt her before. She doesn't have to close the door if she gets her hurt again. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Holly Holmes' nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. I'm doing work with the jack. Seconds to go. Oh! She's getting up. Yep. Oh my goodness! It's like the American Red Cross in the octagon tonight. Blood donation on both sides, and somehow both women still fighting for it. I mean, but John, at some point we gotta ask, like, how? Oh my goodness! She was able to block that one. To stay in this fight. Now we get some space as she separates from her opponent. Nice. Nicely done. Well, Holmes' cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. She's got that single collar in the clinch now. Well, DC, some might suggest she's sort of playing with her food here. She has the upper hand, yet not really forcing the issue and trying to get her out there. You know, she's very patient as a fighter. But when you see someone that many times in one round, you gotta go for blood. I know it's against her, it's not her MO to be over aggressive. But right now, it seems like it's just a matter of time before this fight gets stopped. Holmes 
nose is cut, it is mangled, it probably will need to be reset next week. And you gotta think the referee in the ringside position have a close eye on things as her condition continues to deteriorate. All right, so with some urgency, the cut man making his way into the octagon as she heads back to the stool. That is a nasty cut that she is dealing with. Well, she's done a nice job just hammering the cut on that eye. I'm not sure how much more fight time we're going to have tonight. Yeah, she will not be able to go through this much longer. She took way too many shots to the eye, and now she's dealing with a nasty cut. She's got to be more focused on the defensive side if she wants an opportunity to win this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. I'm excited, man. Fourth round is underway as we hit these championship rounds. Both of these women with a lot still left in the tank, or so it seems. They did a great job of preparing themselves for the long fight. Let's see who can sustain the energy over the top. Oh, what a connection over the top. She's wobbling now. She's hurt very bad. She's on skates. She has to get moving. If she stays in front of her opponent, she's going to take one more. That's going to end the night. Absolute mess right now. Oh, she's hurt. She's hurt bad. So she's holding on to her here, not doing too much. Huge shot going on right here. Big knee there. All right, well, you can argue at this stage of the fight, she is too tough for her own good. Her eye is unrecognizable. I mean, she doesn't even look like the same fighter that she walks into the octagon at. She got cut very early and has just been an accumulation of damage that has put this eye in this position. Oh, oh she's officially wobbled now. Oh, with authority, the body. Big shot lands for both guys. Swing and a miss by Holly Holm. Lands a good series of kicks here. Well, she gets inside and gets the single collar top. Master of the transition. Nice grab. And that one certainly found the target. Holly Holmes blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Oh, she's not over there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the eye. She can't possibly know where she is right now. After taking such a massive hit. that beautiful jab. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really light her up now. Oh! Oh! She got that single collar tie. Oh, nice setup for the submission here. What a transition. Oh, so now she gives up on the submission. She did, and she did because she saw that she was going to end up in a worse position. Great recognition to give up the submission and maintain her dominant position. I can see the ringside position starting to get up because that cut has gotten to a very bad place. Just over two minutes to go. Man, Mark Coleman would be proud. Her ground and pound game is on point. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Oh, setting up another submission now. Oh, it's getting tight. Wow, I thought she might succumb as she gets out. I thought she was going to sleep. I thought it was over. Wow, another strike gets through and targeted right on that cut. She is a bloody mess. Oh, reverses the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by Ralph. That was a slick transition. She's right in. Oh, poor attack. Yup. That is tight. Oh, looked pretty tight to me. But she bails on the submission attempt. Rousey's in half guard. She's stepping over the ball here. This is a terrible position. Right back. One minute now to go in round four of a possible five. Home get worked here from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. 
Oh, and how about that? They make their way back to the feet. Crowd going crazy. What a moment for these two athletes. The crowd is losing their mind. While they like the grappling, they love a good stand-up fight. Effective use of the jab there by Ronda Rousey. All right, so she continues to attack the body to great effect. Actually, some redness now. Oh, she's got to keep pressing now. Oh, heavy shots. Huge TKO result here tonight, and this crowd is letting her know. John, you know how much I love to talk, and I'm sitting here almost speechless because this young lady looked amazing. She said she was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what she did. Wow. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 48 seconds of round number four. We claim the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Holly the Preacher's Doctor. So another big win in a career full of them for the preacher's daughter, Holly Holm. A lot of people buried her several years ago, but she has certainly found her second win. And when she performs like this, she looks like...